why does it happen? One of us wrote, the best gratitude is surprising. It can be blinding for a second. Then it catches you thinking, I am so lucky to be here. So we went looking through our memories for moments like that. We found a lot of them. But we also found a whole lot of little things in life that we're just plain glad about. And we found experience that we were grateful about after they happened. There's something powerful about gathering up all of these things and naming them. So that's what we're here to do. We're counting our blessings. Remember childhood. Remember discovering the scent of jasmine and the joy of creaky, swinging chairs. Remember Rice Krispies when you pour the milk. Remember clicking pens and pencils writing, people whispering, and the music of overlapping chatter. Remember the moment right before you go on stage and into the light, and the feeling afterwards of knowing that you did well. Remember your parents applauding at the end of every play and cheering at your swim meets. Remember the crackle of a microphone when you touch it, and laughter like balloons lifting you up. Remember lemon verbena candles and their flickering light, and remember the smell of rain, its scent so present that you can taste it. Be thankful. Be amazed by the sound of the old stand mixer making a cake and the scent of coffee brewing in the morning. And be amazed by your favorite author, John Green, by the books Looking for Alaska and The Fault in Their Stars. Remember falling into a big leather couch. Remember fifth grade promotion, the last day at base camp, the student council award, and the Tillamook Cheese Factory. Take joy in sand from the beach stuck between your toes in the apple trees dropping their fruit, in the pumpkin farm, in Christmas lights, in the quilt knit by your great aunt for your mother. Be glad that you once sat on the counter of the old kitchen cracking eggs, pouring them everywhere but the bowl. Be glad that you still have a piece of driftwood from when you were a baby. Remember seeing Hamilton and Dear Evan Hansen, and remember a beautiful 12th birthday. Remember the love behind all of this. Thank you. Gratitude is checkers with Alma and the way I used to knock on her door. Two low, one high. It's making dinner with my dad and the curiosity and anticipation when something comes in the mail, even if it ends up being coffee for my mom. Gratitude is the fat belly of my cat, its new cleats on wet grass, and the fan songs of Liverpool, and the overcooked corn dogs at Safeway after a late training. It's running through a sprinkler on a hot day and the dark blue dragonflies zipping and landing on the edge of the pool. Gratitude is the sound of a good connection with a knuckleball. It's the Halloween parties at Nina's old house and an early apple on a year old tree. It's the opening in the trees that I made with my friends. It's the salty air by the ocean. It's chocolate pudding, reading with dad on my bed for hours and baking chocolate chip cookies with mom every Christmas. Gratitude is my dog's greeting when we've been away. Thank you. way the icy water of Blue Lake meets the jagged rocks surrounded by mossy logs and the skeletons of trees and for fresh air on the night of the lunar eclipse. Thank you for friendships, for food and love and the people who helped me find my way. Thank you for childhood. Hi, my name is Jason. Gratitude is music, it's instruments to play. It's the sound of cars in the distance, a guitar, Chopin nocturnes, and the zipper at the fair going over the top. Gratitude is the beauty of nature and the joy of living on this island. It's hay, lilies, salt spray and soil. It's building a snow fort and throwing snowballs at your uncle. It's the taste of pizza at South Beach and mushroom hunting at sunset. It's picnics at Lime Kiln with your mom. Gratitude is the color of a summer sky. It's bike riding and building a shelter out of sticks. It's Halloween decorations down Carter Street and the orange and gold of fall leaves. It's the mini me houses that you and Louise made at Daisy Chain years ago and trespassing on your neighbor's property to make a fort. Gratitude is laughter 
It's your 10th birthday party with a big chocolate cake and the day you got your blue belt in Taekwondo. It's Legos and stuffies and special coins. It's big excavators and working with your dad. It's the scent of fresh cut pine, cedar, dug fur and alder. It's going to the Deming Log Show. Gratitude is the hold of your father's hand while driving through the mountains. It is having two parents who are each so wonderful, people who help you to face challenges, who help you to strive and to live with your mistakes. It is parents who help you to understand the ways of the world and who are proud of you every day. Gratitude is love. It's the look on your dad's face the first time he sees you when you've been away. It's the welcome home hug in the kitchen by your sister. It is the mother who makes you tea in the morning. It is the sound of her voice. It is the face of a brand new sibling, fresh into this life. Thank you. I am grateful to the lady at the grocery store who spotted my mom when she was a dollar short and for the opportunity to repay her in eggs the next day. I am grateful for the mailwoman who gives the dogs treats when they bark at her. And I'm grateful for snow days, skiing, and clean white ice skates. It is not hard to be grateful for these beautiful things. It is harder to be grateful for hard things. But hard things lead to change and new strength. This is what I would tell new students. On the Monday morning of the first day, waiting for the ferry, you might feel like a lamb waiting to be slaughtered. <laughs> but when you step on the boat, just for a millisecond, you start knowing that maybe you can do the hike. You know it again when you see the white snow blanketing your tent in a misty swell of mountain air. You know by the sizzle of clear blue rain meeting the hot orange fire. By river water rushing on cold clean stone and the taste of a berry picked from the bush. Those berries hide under dewy leaves and quiet voices around you ask, can we taste them? As if to answer, a small blue sphere falls to your feet. You put it in your mouth and you whisper, thank you. Hard things can be good. You know this from the feel of being, of being at the top of the world. When you see a tiny zigzagging line going from mountain to forest to hill, to boulder, and you realize that boulder you're standing on is home. Waiting to do something scary is almost harder than just doing the hard thing. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is cry. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is not cry. Your comfort zone is an invisible bubble around you. It keeps you from touching the things that make you scared. Stepping outside of it can be like getting a bucket of ice water dumped on your head. It's shocking and scary, but it is refreshing. It wakes you up, and when you get back into your bubble, it's a little bigger. That is something to be grateful for. Thank you. My name is Ava. Fresh grass, summer peonies, a warm bed, fog on a soft lake. Remember these things. Remember hot tea, just washed hair, and the wings of hummingbirds ever so slowly beating through your mind's eye. Remember your roller bag squeaking across the slick airport floor and the silhouette of people talking through a tinted window. Remember the pottery in your grandma's backyard and the steady sound of rain dripping through moss-filled gutters. Remember the sounds of curtains closing. Remember your letters to and from Jana. And remember how words are like seeds waiting to grow into an apple of a poem. Remember the poem might fall into your hands or not, but if it does, catch it. Remember the soft way your mother shapes your face with her hands. And remember the slow roll of a shiny orb of dew moving down a long green finger of a flower's leaf. Remember the way a pen sits in your hand just waiting for ideas to flow. Remember that even when it's hard to love, you do it anyways. Remember the color of your heart, whatever color it is. Remember to play and laugh as hard as you can. And remember the silent moments when everything is still. Hold them. 
even though you know they will not be relived. Look for more of them, for times when life seems to stop, but the world is still flowing around you. Remember these with all your might. Each one is different, and each one has thrilling quiet. Remember me, as I am, as I was, and as I will be. Remember you, as you are, as you will be, and as you are. Let us remember to share the beauty inside of ourselves with each other and the world. Thank you. My name is Alden. Gratitude is birds sailing on the wind, winding sidewalks and sunlit benches. It's hot springs, river rafting, rain, and fresh snow. It's driving up, up, up to a lake and stopping at the perfect stream and catching my first fish. It's fly fishing with my dad. It's warm clothes right out of the dryer, warm sheets, and wool blankets. Gratitude is presents on a birthday and candles on a cake. It's even the wave of sadness you get when you wake up that day and realize you'll never be that age again. It's the Roach Harbor Pool, skate park, and the ice cream by the ferry landing. It's a windy day at Limekiln. It's a Lego set right after a really bad tetanus shot when I was little. It's, my, it's a stuffed tiger my cousin bought for me from the zoo in Jacksonville. It's early morning, 8,000 feet in the Cascades, and seeing my friends at base camp after four days in the mountains. It's the scent of a new shirt, the sound of seagulls, and panting dogs. It's pulling an all-nighter, taking a nap, and waking up at 6 p.m. thinking it's morning the next day. Most of all, it's home, family, and friends. It's my grandpa buying plane tickets to Florida and strawberry fluff on Thanksgiving. It's flag football with my dad and playing on the trampoline with my mom. It's my sister's laugh. It's hope for the next generation that they will see the stars in a big blue ocean. It's trees arching away from the present and towards the future. It's a possibility. Thank you. Hi, my name is Oliver. I'm grateful for my parents who provide heat, space, and food and who let me go to Spring Street. I'm grateful for nice grandparents, birthdays, and going to England for the first time. I'm grateful for watermelon toothpaste and for sledding without getting catapulted. I'm grateful for good days, like the first time I swam across the big pool and the first time I scored my first goal. I'm grateful for the first time I rode my bike and felt the wind rushing past me. I'm grateful for Disneyland, Legoland, and Universal Studios. I'm grateful for my dog Maui and our kittens, Max and Gemma, and even the way they wake me up with their paws on my face. I'm grateful for the sound of Maui's tail thumping on the walls as she bounces down the stairs and the way she knocks me over with hugs. I'm grateful for my grandpa's backyard where you can lie down and see the fireworks on Independence Day. I'm grateful for my town, for the aquarium by the docks, trick-or-treating in Rose and Spruce Lane, and the fountain that used to be by the marina. I'm grateful for the freedom I feel on a trampoline and the thrill at the top of a ski slope I'm not really ready for. Uh, I'm grateful for the wind whooshing past my head. I'm grateful for the sounds of turbines revving, crickets in summer, and people screaming on rides at the fair. I'm grateful for trees providing oxygen, eagles, eagles calling, and orcas breathing. I'm grateful for the wind beating against the windows and rain when I'm cozy inside. I'm grateful for the view of the valley at the top of Cutthroat Pass, Blue Lake from above, and the ring of mountains sloping inwards towards water surrounded by trees. I'm grateful for the sound of the river at base camp, and I'm grateful for silence. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ryan. If you ask me about the best days of my life, they're all about family, like our first ski trip, and how we ate up at the lodge and skied down the mountain together. We'd sit on the lift on the way up the hill and talk about life and struggles, and snow so nice that it was like skiing on air. I think of the time my dad and I were driving to go on a camping trip, and how when we were way out in the middle of nowhere, he let me put my head out through the sunroof for a minute. And we laughed, and it felt like pure freedom. We hiked in Goblin Valley, the place with the balance drops. We sat on the edge of a cliff and looked at the huge view, and talked and talked. And that was happiness, and calm and peace. My mom's parents, my grandparents on Lopez, are so important to me. I go over there every week because I love being with them. They love antiques and old things with stories. My grandma is amazing, not just because she makes tasty pork chops and steak and fried halibut, but because she is caring and kind. We play cards and she asks me about my day. And my grandpa is just the best. 
even his fake scary stories. There's one about a seawolf who lives in an old boat. When my grandpa gets to the part where the seawolf eats humans at a full moon, he starts howling, right in the middle of telling it. The main thing is, my grandpa believes in me. He says, do well in school. Even if it gets hard, fight through it, and you can get to a good place. He believes in my mom too, so do I. She puts up with me day after day, and she helps me get through things. I'm proud of her for becoming a nurse. I was a pain, but she took care of me through four years of school. Mom, I know I pushed back, but I want you to know that I'm so grateful for your advice and your patience and your love. Thank you. Hi, my name is Louise. I am going to tell a story. A stream cascades over cliffs, winds down mountains, turns a corner, and gurgles peacefully over wide, flat stones. A girl sits apart from the rest of her group, building a rock stack. She thinks about her life, and she is grateful for what she has. She's grateful for home, and family, and laughter. She's grateful for her first trip to Hawaii, for her town, and for the giant tree by the ferry, lit up at Christmas with lights. She's grateful for opening nights, passing her first Taekwondo test, and the Percy Jackson musical. She's grateful for seeing Pearl Jam in concert and getting Green Day tickets. But at this moment, the girl is grateful for the opportunity to think. She thinks about the river's journey and its story. It has to come from somewhere. And it must end up somewhere too. Doesn't everything have a beginning and an end? Along the way, that river might merge with bigger streams, the girl thinks, and even bigger rivers. It might start at a lake or from a glacier, changing from year to year, carving its ever-shifting path. Just like me, the girl thinks. Every time I return to the woods, I'm different. Every year when she returns, the old trail is new, because she sees it differently. She looks at it in a new way. Sometimes these thoughts run through her head at a hundred miles an hour. Sometimes she pauses them. She builds a rock stack by a stream. She thinks about the bird calls in the trees. She thinks about the smell of fresh pine needles. And finally, she feels completely peaceful, right at home, where she is and she is grateful for that. Thank you. Hi, my name is MJ. Gratitude is scented with ocean salt and surf wax. It's the green face of a wave, the silence inside of a curl, and you listening for the quiet rush of white water. It's a Donald Tucky on a surfboard and a VW van headed down the coast. It's that first view of the ocean, deep blue with white sweeping through. It's anticipation. Gratitude is the language of the waves, calling you in your sleep. It is knowing that waves speak to each other all over the world. Gratitude is the day you got hooked. It's the wave that broke in a perfect tube at sunset on a deserted three mile beach. It's the texture of sea foam. It's the day you entered a surf shop and fell in love with the first longboard that you saw. And it's the fact that you left with it. Gratitude is the best wave of your life so far, and the next one, and the one after that. It's the moment you step forward, and your board locks in, and you are as alive as you ever will be. It's that day in Santa Cruz, with warm sunshine and clear blue-green water, and long gentle breakers peeling along the shore. It is knowing the danger of the ocean, the way it will hold you under and toss you around. It is your respect and fear. Gratitude remembers the first people of Hawaii who knew that most supreme pleasure of being driven on so fast and so smoothly by the sea, a way of living banned by the missionaries but too powerful to be drowned. It is every surf rider who knew and knows that we have one dearest Mother Earth, that we must protect her oceans and we must play in them. Thank you. Hi, my name is Noah. I am thankful for all my senses for the scent of smushed blackberries in summer and f freshly squeezed lemons, for the scent of cut limes, lavender, clean laundry, and new soap unwrapped, for new Sharpies, candles burning, and sounds. I'm grateful for the sound of a spinning fishing reel, the, sh the sound of shuffling cards, harmonicas, and roosters crowing, for the ferryboat horn in the distance, 
chickens in the morning, and the snap of a bow and arrow in flight. I'm grateful for textures, for geodes, crab shells, and the edges of pine cones, for toasted marshmallows and peeling bark, for the space underneath a cat's chin, for goosebumps and smooth teeth after seeing the dentist, for the feel of bread dough, eagle feathers, and the surface of old maps. I am grateful for sight, for seeing deer antlers on Mount Young and ski tracks in the snow behind me, for eyes that spied an arrowhead and the first sight of a baby goat's horn. I am grateful for all my senses put together with love and my Buzz Lightyear blanket stoned by my grandma and in Millie, my dog, who is much more than a dog. I am grateful for the taste of my mom's scones with dark raspberry jam and my dad surprising me on my birthday. I am grateful for the picture of my brother, my dad, and I on my papa's boat and for so many other things because I am grateful to be alive and I am grateful for my family. Thank you. Hi, my name is Allison. Gratitude is waking up to a wonderful scent of breakfast. It's 10th birthday sleepovers and opening night for every show. It's hide and seek, haunted houses, and the first time on an upside down carnival ride. Gratitude is smooth hair, duct tape, soft carpet, and wool sweaters. It's the scent of horses and just mowed grass. It's the part in the show you wanted. It's the feeling you get just before crying. It's the glitter and fish scale sequins. It's dancing shoes. It's getting your voice to hit the high note two lines above the treble clef. It's the deer standing so close you could touch it. It's holding a baby. It's colors with names like periwinkle. It's tree sap and lime. It's ticking clocks. Gratitude is your old firefighter t-shirt that's been washed a thousand times. It's choreography and snapping fingers. It's people who stop by to buy a lemonade at your roadside stand. It's laughter as good as ice cream cake. Gratitude is the scent of your mom. It's the theater that taught you to express yourself and is a safe place for you to do anything you're frightened of. You can, it's a place where you can fail and survive, succeed, and feel pride. It's the tea party you had all by yourself because you had the time of your life. Gratitude is the first time you float on your back and you feel like a winner. It's hiking 12 miles with your legs hurting so bad that they're going to fall off and the crazy energy at the end anyway. It's looking at the stars and seeing thousands of years and seeing thousands of stories. Gratitude is compassion and safety. It's mom, dad, Kiara, Diana, and Rich. It's the good dreams you remember. It's the feeling you get right just before crying. It's the... It's the feeling of really knowing something. It's today, yesterday, the day before that. It's the last chapter of a book and the beginning of the next one. It's you saying to yourself, I am fine just the way I am. Thank you. Hi, my name is Cole. Gratitude is a mouthful of honey. Your first bike, finishing a book, and starting another. It's a fresh apple off of a tree. New shoes, cut cedar, the ocean and roses. It's Disneyland, cousins, and Christmas. Gratitude is the first piece of Halloween candy and the unconditional love of a dog. It's a cat purring. It's the toaster telling you your bagel is ready. When I see the caramel bowl at the counter at Tina's, I am grateful. I am grateful for my mom and dad for letting me go to Spring Street. I am grateful to have a sister. I am grateful for road trips and Legos and signed soccer jerseys. For the sound of water moving downstream, for smooth rocks, running barefoot on a beach, and the helium balloons that get away. I'm grateful for the feeling at the end of a test, and for the beginning of a good movie. I'm grateful for memories, like playing catch in the backyard with my dad on a cloudy day, and being invited to my first sleepover. Memories are gifts. Remember every moment with the people you love. Remember running through fields of wet grass. Remember hearing your dog scampering down the stairs and turning the corner to greet you with pure joy. Remember to do what you truly want. Don't let anyone else choose what you want to do for the rest of your life. You are the only person who can make the right choices. Don't let other voices get in the way of breaking the barriers around you. Decide how you spend your time in this world, this one life. Take risks. Thank you. I remember merely hoping for small things, like dessert or that a rock I was trying to smash would finally break open so that I could see what was inside. I worry about and hope 
for bigger things now. I need to remember that hope can come in any size. That's what it is, the thing in your mind that swallows up the dark. It's the thing that makes you want to nurture one tiny seed, just to see again what happens when it sprouts. Let's be grateful for hope in any form. Not having it is like standing in a cave with no sun to guide you and no tunnel out. Or maybe it's like being swallowed up by the ocean and pressed into the deepest trench. Humanity, we cannot stay there despite what we face. No matter how big the challenge, we have to climb. Start by looking for the first small bright thing. You can find it in ice, shad ice and shadow in the belief that ice thaws that it, and that even shadow can cast light into dark corners. Sometimes hope is work, but this week, not for me. I love the way the autumn rain pours down after months of sunfall, the way it seems to wash away anything burned, the way I am always unprepared for this and the way I do not care. I close my eyes as the rain rinses off summer dust. For me, this is arrival. This is home. It means that soon there will be the crackling of flame as a new deck of cards is broken in like stiff new shoes. Gradually, the deck softens to shuffling as the scent of deliciously seasoned stew mingles with that of candle wax. Soon, memories of summer are listed fondly as breadsticks are snapped. Snow might come, but tonight, a warm blanket envelops everything. Tonight, hope is easy. I'm grateful for that. I store it up. It's a small thing with big power. Thank you. My name is Paul Zip. Gratitude is the color of the sky, the sea, the trees, the animals, and the air. It is new things. It is life and this planet. It is birthday cards and drumsticks. It is the first goal you scored, the sun of new shoes, and seeing someone you have not seen in years. Gratitude is your dad making dumplings. It is dividing decimals with Brendan and Julia. It is even when someone says something nice to you, and it is the day your mom got a visa. It is even when she showed all your embarrassing baby pictures to your friends. Gratitude is the sound of scooter wheels spinning. It is every scab, cut, and scar. It is the skate park and landing a triple whip. It is the smooth concrete in the parking lot under the Bean Cafe. It is looking up tricks and practicing. It is falling and getting up and trying it again. It is finally getting to land your feet on the deck. It is showing your friends and the best feeling ever. Gratitude is the place where you were born. It is the first day at school and the first word you said. It is the first step you took and your first best friend. It is the first story you wrote and your very best dreams. Thank you. Hi, my name is Vincent. Remember waking up on the first day of summer and thinking about all the things you could do. Remember the excitement of hearing the mailman pulling up in your driveway and leaving a package. Remember the sound of a box cutter cutting tape. Remember the smell of blackberry cobbler in the oven and the ding when it's ready. Remember the sound of fireworks five seconds be see before you see them bloom in the sky. Remember the scent of rainy days, lavender fresh cut grass. Remember the scent of new shoes. Remember the sound of chimes, frogs, and crashing waves. Remember the rock you brought back from the top of the mountain. Remember your great grandpa's Air Force canteen and the picture of you going on the zipper for the first time. Remember your friends. Remember Christmas and getting a new pet. Remember the feeling of getting all your homework done and Saturdays with nothing to do. Remember waking up and looking outside your window to see snow and remember to remember. Thank you. Hi, my name is Julia. Gratitude is a way to remember that when one thing goes wrong, so many others go right. It's looking back and saying, I'm glad this happened. Look for those moments, one at a time. Think of clicking the last puzzle piece into place. Think of warm sheets in the dryer. Think of the first bite of an apple, the sound of a choir harmonizing, and the tire swing you found in the middle of the forest. Remember going down a water slide and somersaulting into a pool. Remember New York and the scent of vending carts, the cars swerving and honking their horns, and the lights. Stop to look at rain on moss, Wait for the scent in the air just before a thunderstorm. Think of fresh cut grass. Remember all the places you have lived and the insightful 10 years you spent in Florida. Hold the twig from the tree fort you had there and the sound of palm fronds swishing. 
Remember your favorite sushi restaurant. A Magura Fuji roll, one super eel roll, and three ikura sashimi. Remember mangoes with sweetened condensed milk and the taste of fresh coconut. Remember the sound of your best friend's bicycle spokes peeling down a seashell path and the small blue house with bright pink shutters. Remember swimming far away from your boat while chasing a sea turtle and the mailman, Serge, who left little presents and how you left some for him. Remember the little things like hazelnut meringues and the big things like a warm home that awaits you at the end of the day. Remember advice from loved ones. Know that they will be there when you fall. Remember that when facing a blank page and thinking about gratitude, something will come to you. Start by lifting a corner of the veil in your mind very slightly, just enough to release one silver drop of an idea. See the glowing orb spinning and showing its plans. Pick up your pencil and write. Thank you. Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm thankful for my tempur bed and for my cats and for their meowing and snoring. I'm thankful for the times Mimo chills on my lap while I pet him without him trying to perforate me like a sponge. I'm thankful for cannons and fireworks and stargazer lilies, for steam, the skate park, Cousin Vinny's, and the bowling alley. I'm thankful for the warm pizza heating my throat with the cheese, the crust, and the inexplicable feeling of the first bite. I'm thankful to my mom for taking me to Costa Rica and for the existence of jet skis. I'm thankful for the green turtle in the reef of Hawaii and the sound of water hitting boat holes. I am thankful for the sea. I am thankful to my best friend's uncle for letting me fly his drone using goggles that turn your vision into a camera with tiny screens. I am thankful for the day I got the hang of skiing black diamonds and when I finished a hardest run and got air. I am thankful for the whipping of air and the shocks that turn bumpy terrain into rideable clouds. I'm thankful for passing my hunter safety test. I'm thankful for the texture of grip tape and to a friend when he helped me remove my boxed deck ends. I'm thankful for when I completed the roll in in the falling drop of the gravity. I'm thankful for forests. I'm thankful to the adults who know that I need rain over what I do and for their trust. I am thankful for learning to say yes because yes can mean preparing yourself to go down the steepest slope you've ever seen and knowing that it might be the funnest ski slope ever. Thank you. Hi, my name is Isaiah. The color of gratitude is dark, dark blue, the blue of an endless sky. It's remembering how it felt to look at the clouds when I was little, when things were simpler and the only thing I had to worry about was what to do next. Gratitude is laughter in dark times and feels close to my house where I can always play soccer. It's landing my first shove it on my skateboard and it's the first day of school. It's the day my family started to build a house and the day I found a dog in the woods and named him Sheepy. It's friends, funky cars, and fishing with my grandpa. It's swimming in Tennessee Lake. Gratitude is the scent of lilac trees and the smell of new cars. It's the sound of orcas breaching and the swish of basketball through the hoop. It's a blood moon on Halloween and mushroom hunting at Jekyll's Lagoon. It's the benches around town with people's names and the statue of Popeye near the docks. Gratitude is the day my little sister was born. It's the smell of the sidewalk when it rains on a hot day. It's thunder. It's my 12th birthday when I got my new skateboard and the texture of the deck. It's learning how to ollie with my dad. Gratitude is the school hiking trip, even with all the never ending switchbacks and the soul destroying climb to Mount Ferguson Lake. It's the satisfaction of getting to the top of the view and the crystal clear water. It's the sudden shifts between rain and sun and the sky on the last day of the hike. It's coming home knowing that sometimes you just have to keep walking with what feels like a million pound backpack and that it's worth it. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lila. Leaves unfold and loosen in autumn wind and blow their messages every which way. Look, they whisper, look around. The wind runs along the path of the sky. Pine needles freckle the ground. Walk the path, late blooming flowers murmur. A breeze brushes a garden bench. There is silence. A single star sheds its light on the horizon. 
where black flickers to peach and the moon rises. Hear its call. Let rain soak your clothes, whispers the moon, and may you dance like you are the pen to the page in this garden. Take the shovel and grow things. The wing beats of the birds echo over you, their moon shadows brushing your shoulders. Look outside of your safe garden, they cry, so that you know what you have. You listen to them. But sometimes, in such a wonderful place as this, trouble can seem so far away that you don't recognize it when it comes. Enjoy this garden, but look at the wider world. Tend the seeds you set into the ground and watch your flowers come up with arms reaching for the sun. Stay when the petals fall to earth, pink, white, brown, gone. Let yourself see life as it passes on. Feel your own heartbeat, know your own good fortune, and share the seeds. Know that kale and peas can grow in a garden. Love can grow there too. It can grow like a sprout, split down the middle, coming up again and producing more. We pick flowers, mango vines, and cut trees to the root. That's what makes human love so fragile. We are in this garden, and we too require tender care. Hearts can open again and grow hope fed by stardust, and there is always sky in the hard times. Stars die, but things are reborn. Take this gift of love, this gift of strong intention, this gift of light. Thank you. Hi, my name is Aiden. The polite thing to say when someone helps you or gives you something is thank you. When your neighbor brings over the best pumpkin bars ever, when your friend lets that you keep their favorite pencil, or when you are in line for the ski lift and the group in front of you lets you go ahead of them just to be nice. You can be thankful for many things, big and small. The goose feather you found at the lake, and for the popcorn you made that had more butter and salt than corn. For the day you harvested your first potatoes and the croaking bullfrog that kept you awake at night. For, the, for ice fishing on the Deschutes and petting a fuzzy cow whose number was two. For your habanero pepper plant, your battle box, and all the hidden geocaches on the island. You can be thankful for making a dog obstacle course with your sister, for American Ninja Warrior training, and for doing four loops on the RC plane in a row. You can be thankful for finding and saving day-old ducklings that were stuck in the pool, and when you saw a chick open its eyes for the first time. Be thankful for the day that you got two double y egg yolks in a row. Be thankful for the feel of turtle shells and sticking your hand into a bucket of millet. Be thankful for the time you were finally able to launch a rocket up into the great blue sky. Be thankful for your home, pets, and education. But most of all, be thankful for your family. Thank you. Hi, my name is Zaylee. Remember, remember a sleepover in your backyard with a friend and all the satellites you thought were shooting stars? Remember the soft, worn threads of a friendship bracelet? Remember the day you biked to Lopez with Ella, ate a whole pint of ice cream, and jumped off the dock at Audlin Park? Remember how much you love the necklace G made for you? Remember stirring melted chocolate, and how the first time you sold truffles, you made a profit? Remember when you first started Ariel Silks, and knew this is something you're good at. Remember the first time you played guitar in front of an audience and busking at the farmer's market, your fingers sliding down the frets as you played a beloved song. Remember the way people in Friday Harbor meet your eye and smile. Remember the sadness that washed over you and your family when your first dog died. Remember how that dog protected you, loved you, and stayed by you. And remember the day you got your dog Bo, the Northwest Farm Terrier. Remember your grandparents in Sandpoint, working with your grandpa in his shop and getting soft serve ice cream with your grandma every summer. Remember your family, the brother who shares everything with you, 
who makes you Christmas presents, the brother who more than anyone has taught you endurance, forgiveness, compromise, and patience. Remember your mom, who has taught you to look at things in a different light and love more freely. Remember your dad, who invites you to question everything and go deeper and make sure that what you know is true. Remember your ancestors, the earth they walked with tough and travel-hardened feet. Remember their coarse fingers planting seeds. Remember they, the fish they caught and deer they hunted. Remember them looking at, up at the same night sky, the same stars that you, yourself, look at now. Remember their wisdom. Know your own. Share it with others and allow them to share theirs with you. Thank you. So that concludes our speeches, but Vincent, Jason, and Lila have a song to share. We wanted to let you know that we will have another reading in February because we, because we wrote so much more great stuff that we need to publish a book. Thank you for coming and listening and letting us count our blessings with witnesses. We are grateful. Thank you.